hey guys welcome to my channel it's Kosi here again how are you thank you for stopping by to watch today's tutorial um, if you are a new subscriber hey welcome to the community thank you for deciding to join us I hope you enjoyed here and if you're an OG a returning subscriber hey what's up what do you do I hope you've been keeping safe since my last upload in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how I achieved this full and inspired feeding braids while I was seven months pregnant <laughs> if you can see from my nose my dim eyes and my skin yes I was very heavy at this point but um, making my hair for me during my pregnancy was very therapeutic so without further ado let's get into it <laughs> So the first thing that I would always like to do is section my hair and then sort the hair extensions according to the sections that I have on my hair. You know what I mean, right? So that I don't run out of hair extension in the middle of the process. Now I tried out a few off camera just to be sure that I understood what I was about to get myself into before I started. And I started with the front, that's the feeding braids so that um, whatever happens at the back, the feeding braids it's tidy enough to cover up um, without looking like a hot mess. So I usually start off the cornrows with my hair without extension. Um, for me, I find it easier to grip than having the extension at the beginning and then it's causing a bulge. So before I start each con roll, I usually sort the hair extension on the side so it's easy to grab and go and I sort it according to sizes. So the first thing I do is um, straighten out the hair, pick one side, feed in one side, then pull the other side and then add it to it and then I go. Okay, so let's try this one more time. I use my shine and jam to make sure that the hair is soft and easy to grab. I start the corn rows without any extension, just a tiny bit, and at this point, I begin to add the hair extension, starting with a very tiny piece so that it blends nicely without bulging. And as I go, I keep increasing the sizes. So I feed in one side of the extension, I braid, then I feed in the other side of the extension and then I continue as I add hair extensions up until the very end. Okay, so now we are done with this side. I'm going to replicate the same thing on the other side, trying to make it as exact as possible because um, when the two sides are similar, it makes it a lot, a lot more pleasing to the eyes. So I'm doing the exact thing on the other side, the same number of corn rows and making it to be, um, to look as similar as possible to the other side. Okay, so now we're done with the front and we have the same number of cornrows on each side and I did my best to line um, each of the cornrows as similarly as possible so it just looks nicer. So it's time to go to the back and like I said, I do my best to make sure the back is as neat as possible but because I'm not able to see what's going on at the back because there's no mirror behind, um, I prefer to do the front first so that if anything goes wrong at the back I can nicely drop the front and then it covers whatever is happening at the back 
so if you're still watching this video at this point it means that this video is making sense so have you subscribed have you have you liked the video have you shared with someone who will be interested if you haven't please 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 now is the best time to do that hit the like button please subscribe so that you know when i have content like this again in the future because girl you're enjoying it yeah that's why you're still here at this point <laughs> So for the back i basically just did box braids um if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how i do my box braids please leave me a comment in the comment section below i can do you i can do a nice um, detailed tutorial on how to do box braids but for the sake of today's video the idea is just to show you the feeding braids only so the back is just basically box braids all the way and then that's basically it okie dokie so we are done and this is what the hair is looking like after the box braids were in um yeah i like the i like the the way it is it's not so full it's not so flat either and yeah feeling myself <laughs> so um the next thing you do of course is to trim the hair which i hate to do oftentimes i don't even bother trimming my hair i just make sure that the braids are as neat as possible so that i can easily skip the step without um much issues um yeah so after trimming i put it in hot water and then i put some mousse on it and i was ready to rock the streets with my fine hair okay so that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please thumbs up like the video do not forget to share with someone else who might like it and do not forget to subscribe please if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe before you leave so that you know when i have content like this again in the future if you're going to be trying this style please leave me a comment in the comment section below so that i know how yours goes till my next video take care of yourself stay safe and always remember to be kind goodbye